Hey guys, on this week's Weapons Wednesday, we're going to be celebrating St. Patrick's Day. We're going to take a look at some knuckle dusters, a throwing star, and some shillelaghs. And then when we're done with all that, we're going to chase the snakes out of Karate Mart. But before we begin, if you could just like this video and subscribe to our channel, that, that would, would be, be awesome. awesome. All right, Amanda, so last week we took a look at a bunch of karambits, and then yep. we had a vote. Who won the vote? It was the Damascus Blade Karambit, which honestly I kind of thought so. Shocking no one. It's very Shocking no comfy. one. Yeah, it's perfect. I really, really like this one. Perfect. I actually like it too. Mm -hmm. I mean, the trainers are for me for practical reasons, <laughs> but the Damascus was the best one. Yes. And this week, we're going to take a look at some pretty cool stuff, just to kind of in honor of St. Patrick's Day. It's, yep. a, it's just a fun holiday. Uh, you know, there's all other holidays, they've got some, you know, kind of deeper significance, but the way um, we celebrate St. Patrick's Day in America, it's just, it's a Sunday, fun day, right? <laughs> yeah. So we chose some St. Patrick's Day stuff. Uh, what do we go with? Gold? Um, green? I mean, honestly, we can show off both of the knuckle dusters at the same time, I feel like. Perfect. So this one is the Toxic Skull Knuckle Duster. And this guy is the Gold Knuckle Duster. Descriptive, right? <laughs> and then so then a lot of our stuff is called knuckle dusters. Mm -hmm. uh, this gold one, uh, if you live in a if you live in an area where they're called belt buckles, has a little uh, belt <laughs> buckle attachment too. So you can go both ways with this. Yeah. So what can you tell me about this one? This one, it's made out of durable stainless steel. It has some pretty decent large finger holes. They're a bit oval on there, so that's pretty nice. And then obviously it has the skull and the um, paint splatter design on it in green, so that's why it's the toxic skull. And with that as well, it has a nice palm grip right here, palm guard right here. Mm -hmm. And it's pretty comfortable in my opinion, but I think it might be a little bit too big for my hands. It's a little thin, mm -hmm. it's a little thin that way. Uh, and let's see, so mine, gold one, not real gold. <laughs> that's the first bolded bullet point on this item's description, <laughs> not real gold. So I feel like that means someone thought it was real gold at some point. Yeah. Yeah, someone called, yeah. <laughs> uh, comes with a belt buckle attachment, uh, four and a half by two and a half. Uh, this one weighs, it, this one's pretty heavy, I feel, five ounces. And it's a little, so show yours up. So Amanda's here, it's a little deeper on the knuckles. So like a little more of a kind of a blade to it. Yeah. Uh, mine's a little shallower, and if you turn it this way, that one's really to cut. And then this one's a little bit thicker. So I think this one's more of a blunt weapon, and this mm -hmm. is more of a almost a cutting weapon. Yeah, so I think so. The finger holes on that one just look a little bit smaller, but also because they're more circular they're, instead of oval. Yeah, they're a little smaller, and they're circles. And then this this uh, little palm part is is wider. Yeah. Right. It's a little more comfortable, I think. Mm -hmm. And then this one is also a bigger just because the overall length is 4.5 inches and the width is 3 inches with this one slightly heavier at 6.5 ounces. Nice. Mm -hmm. So do you want to take a swipe at the Wing Chun tell me if, tell me if you think it's comfortable or you want to switch? I'll try this one real quick first. I don't okay. think it'll be great <laughs> for me. Yeah, it's digging into my pinky right there. All, all right, already digging in. Yeah. Two little ones. Okay. I'll try this one and then you can swip, we'll okay, switch. Okay, cool. Okay. I can hit with this. That's good. I can hit with this. Cool. And let's take this one. I'm going to hit much gentler with this one because I can tell it's going to hurt my hand. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, it digs in a little bit. It digs in a little bit. But it's also digging into this, mm -hmm. right? So like, oh, you win some, you lose some. <laughs> I think there's a little give and take with this guy. Yeah, because it's this is leaving deep little dents in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. At, see, Mel, look at this. Get up, get up and close on this one. I mean, like, it's taking little chunks out of this thing, so... God forbid you're on the receiving end of this guy. Yeah, I know. Oh, either yeah. one of them, really. <laughs> any, any of this stuff. You don't want to be receiving end of any of this. Yeah, that's true. Ideally, you never want to use it. <laughs> right, right, exactly. Okay, so there's two knuckle dusters, and then we chose, like, green and gold. Kind of yes. St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> and then we picked, uh, picked a throwing star. Yes. <laughs> It is the Sticky Icky Throwing Star. The Sticky Icky <laughs> Throwing Star will be very popular with yes. some of our customers. Just especially some of our customers, and this is very popular, around 422, obviously. <laughs> well, and, it's a, and also this green holiday. That's you know, true. this is a very green holiday. Uh, here's my, this is my favorite part about this. I love when things make sense. The Sticky Icky Throwing Star is completely not sharp. It is, <laughs> it's, 
there's just no edge to it at all, which is totally appropriate for that throwing star. Yeah. Right? You, sh you shouldn't be sharp. You shouldn't be sharp. <laughs> this is for a laugh, uh, for a friend who loves green. But I still want to see if it can even throw or hit, like hit into a mat. So I, I threw it at the mat. It stuck one time because it just, by luck, was exactly in the right zone. And then I threw it 25 more times and I couldn't. It just was, <laughs> I'm no good at throwing. That's the answer. <laughs> um, but it's, you could throw. I mean, you could throw it. If you mm -hmm. nailed it right or if you hit somebody in the eye with it, like, that would be horrible. <laughs> Um, but otherwise, I think this is fun. This mm -hmm. is just one to have kind of around just for a gag. Yeah. You know, I like it. And that one is made out of stainless steel. It is approximately four inches in diameter. Obviously, it has the little um, leaves on there as well. And it weighs about 1.8 ounces. And lastly, I don't, we don't have it. It comes with a case with a belt loop. <laughs> yeah, just the, the, the pocket case that yeah. all, of our, all, all of our stars basically have the same little case. Right? That is true. Yes. Cool, and then so we will move on to the traditional. Uh, we're also trying to pick kind of Irish weapons, which is where the yes. knuckle dusters came from. Uh, but we do have a carry a couple of shillelaghs. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's see the first one, the Black Thorn Shillelagh Club. That would be this one. It's a smaller version of the other one that we have. Yes. And the other one is the walking. The other one is the walking stick or the shillelagh walking stick. Yeah. Yeah. See? So what can you tell me about that guy? This one, um, sorry, let's look this. at the paper, Amanda. <laughs> <laughs> so what can you tell me about this okay. one? So this one is a solid molded injection polypropylene. It's very strong. It's very durable. We have tested this out quite a few times, and it can really pack a punch. They do, they do pack a punch. Yeah. Right. And then so mine is the walking stick. Uh, so then, if the black thorn was a type of wood, the shillelagh was the name of the forest. Yeah. Uh, and then they let, so the, um, that black thorn wood, here's, I, we wrote it down. It's a traditional material because it's hard, durable, and flexible. Yeah. Well, here we have a modern material that's hard, durable, and flexible. It's called polypropylene. And it's yeah. easier to come by than black thorn from the shillelagh forest in Ireland. Yes. Right? <laughs> that is definitely for this sure. Is the, the, the wood end on these, mm -hmm. simulated wood. So yeah. this is all just synthetic. Uh, it's just totally synthetic, ultra durable, you know, whatever. You could keep this on a boat. It would be fine. Yeah. <laughs> and then mine is just obviously shorter. It is approximately 20 and a half inches, and it weighs approximately uh, just under a pound for the mine. Right. And so mine is, uh, mine is about a pound and a half, uh, 37 inches overall. Uh, and with this little knobbing on here to kind of simulate, uh, you know, like, the actual thorns uh, uh, and to, stuff. To act you, like to simulate a branch or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, one of the things they used to do with these, so they had shillelagh tournaments, 18th and 19th century, because we did a, I did a little reading, you know, I checked yeah. the Wikipedia. <laughs> uh, they did tournaments on the, with this stuff in Ireland. And then if you were really dirty, they'd core this part out, fill it with lead, <laughs> give it some extra bang, right? Yeah. Which, like, that is such a dirty <laughs> trick. Uh, but I wanted to test these guys out. Yeah. And I thought, what are we... What do we do on St. Patrick's Day? We chase the snakes out of, well, we're going to chase the snakes out of Karate Mart in this, <laughs> in this situation. So here's what I got. I went around the office looking for snakes. <laughs> and I found one. <laughs> so I'm going to clap this thing down. We're going to take a good swing at it because we had an old monitor that needed to go. And I thought, why waste it? You know, yeah. why waste it? <laughs> you know, one last hurrah before she hits the dumpster. So yes. be right back. A few moments later. Ian, why are we doing this? Because I am no good at all the other weapons. <laughs> so when an opportunity presents itself for me to use something that requires no training, I will jump at it. Oh, all right. And I also wanted to smash some stuff up just for fun. <laughs> because I think this kind of thing is fun. Well, I have common sense, so I will not be here. Okay, you stand over there. <laughs> I will wear Kyle's safety glasses. And let's take a look and see if I can get rid of these snakes. All right. This is a the walking stick shillelagh. <laughs> oh my gosh! It's <laughs> oh my gosh! It's <laughs> okay. So here's what I think. Uh, I think that uh, the snakes are gone. And I feel like the shillelagh is in pretty good shape. Uh, yeah? 
look at these polymer scientists are doing their job with the polypropylene injection and everything else. It's so, it's so mean because it's got all the weight at the end. Yeah. Right? Which just like, oh, it gives it such a good, it just gives it such a good like. Momentum and momentum, everything like that. Momentum, momentum. Yeah. It's great. But with that, we are done with this video. So if you wouldn't mind just uh, going to the community tab and voting for which one you like best. I'm pretty sure we know the winner. <laughs> and then after that, if you could just like this video and subscribe to our channel and check out KarateMart.com because we have all sorts of awesome weapons on there and we keep putting on new ones every day. But until next week, we'll see you Weapons Wednesday. Absolutely.